many yes. immigrant detention? So many immigrant detention centers are also owned by for-profit prisons who yeah. lobby extensively to impact immigration policy, specifically the detention bed quota mandate. Um, what would you do specifically to get those who benefit from well, they're just contractors that are being hired to do something that's important. Just last week, was it, or just this week, there was information that a bunch of very dangerous people were released, uh, some from these facilities. Uh, we have immigration laws, and they have to be enforced. We need to reform our immigration system. It isn't working well on a number of fronts. We need to have a, a better enforcement mechanisms to prevent future illegal immigration. We need to modernize our legal immigration system uh, so that it's more merit-based. And, and we do need to address the fact that we have 12 million people living in this country who are going to be here for the rest of their lives. But we also have to enforce the laws, and that's what these facilities are, are part of doing. So you would be for. So what they're doing though is that they're impacting the policy, the detention policy. So would you be in favor for taking these? Well, I don't agree with that conclusion that you reached. I think ultimately governments contract with people to provide a service, and that's what they're providing—a service. If you violate our immigration laws, there's consequences. For it. Okay.